Okay, um, let's now talk about uh, worksheet four. So uh, four point one, that's a uh, two by two contingency table problem. So uh, uh, let's look at the question. Men and women often disagree on how they think about selecting a mate. Uh, suppose that a pool of one thousand individuals in their twenties gave the following responses to the question of whether it is more important for their future mate to to be good looking or, or smart. Then we have male and female for one dimension, and then uh, good looking choi the choice of good looking or smart for another dimension. Then we can uh, first uh, start with calculating the totals, the marginal totals. So regardless of gender, uh, who think uh, good looking is more important? Then we have 180 plus 120, that's 300. And smart, that's 700. So that gives us the grand total is uh, the big N is 1,000. And then uh, we can verify that by looking at how many uh, males we have. So that is 600. And female, we have 400. So 600 plus 400 also give us this grand total 1,000. So uh, we have no problem. And suppose each individual in the pool has equal chance to be chosen. Uh, so equal likely. Uh, events and if an individual is selected at random, calculate the probability of the following events. So, uh, number one, the select individual is a woman. So, uh, let A be this event. Then we can express this a little uh, easier. So, uh, the select individual is a woman, then that we want to know probability of A. So F over N rule. How many uh, females we have? 300, right? And over for a total 1,000, so that gives us 0.3. And uh, the second one, we also let uh, next capital letter B be this event. Then uh, we want to know the probability of B, which is uh, good looking is more important. So F over N, empirical probability rule. So good looking, we have three. Uh, good looking, we have 300. And divided by 1,000, and we have 0.3. Okay, here's a tap rule for the first one. It's a, a female. Actually, the, the, the marginal total for female is 400. So then we have four, I have to correct that. So that's point 0.4. Okay, one and two. Both event A and B occur. So that's the probability of A and B, or uh, we say intersection. So we just need to find what is the corresponding F and N. N is still the grand total. What's the F? both A and B. So it must be a female and also thinks good looking is more important. Female good looking, so we have 120. That's the F over 1000. So that gives us 0 0.12. 0 0.12. Okay, so that's both A and B. And either or, so that's probability of A or B. So that is probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A and B, just by the addition uh, rule. So A, we got it 0.4, B 0.3, and A, probability of A and B minus 0.12. So that gives us uh, 0.58. That's A or B. And neither A nor B occurs. So uh, that's the complement of this either or. So neither nor is a complement of that. So probability of E bar equals one minus probability of E, right? So that equals one minus probability of A or B. So that is what, if we want to use that. So that's actually probability of A or B. And then we put a little bar on top of this um, event, big event. So that's 1 minus 0 0.58, so that's 0 0.42.
as number five. And six, given. So when we see the term given, we already know it's a conditional probability. So we then just gonna express uh, this question using the stats notation. So given, we, we write this given uh, line here. And then uh, the select individual thinks good looking is more important. Good looking that is event B, right? Given B. And what is the probability of the select individual is a male. Then we use A representing female, right? Then the complement of A is just male. So we say A bar. So probability of A bar given B. Then uh, we have the formula, right? A bar and B divided by probability of the given one. And this is already known, probability of B. Then we look at probability of A bar and B. That's F or N divided by probability of B. We write uh, 0.3 there. So A bar means uh, male, right? So male and and good looking. Male and good looking. So we have man good looking 180. So 180 over 1000 divided by 0.3. So that's 0.18 divided by 0.3. So let's see what we have. 0 0.18 divided by 0 0.3, 0 0.6. 0.6. So uh, we can also check our answer by using uh, the definition uh, thinking of the conditional. Given B means restrict on this B event. B is what? Go looking. So we just look at uh, numbers from this block and probability of uh, male, so 180 over 300. So uh, F star over N star. That is how we describe that. We can also uh, just use this. So the after we look, we will look at only the restricted uh, block. Then F star will be 180. The count for uh, male, and then the total will be 300. So that's still 0 0.6. Okay, number seven. Given that the select individual is a female. So we use A represent female, right? So given A, what is probably she thinks smart is important. So B is good looking, so B bar is smart. So now it's B bar given A. So uh, we can use F star over N star, uh, that's the easiest. So uh, B bar, uh, so given, let's look at the given, the condition, given A, A means uh, woman. So uh, then we block ourselves for this row. And our N is now 400. Probability of B bar. B is good looking, so B bar is smart. So count for smart is 280. So uh, we have 280 divided by 400, so 0.7. That is uh, this conditional probability. So question one. And uh, 4.2, a sample space consists of five simple events. So uh, simple events means cannot further break down. So uh, only one element there. So uh, that's that tell us what sample space is just E1, E2, E3, E4, E5. That is the sample space. And uh, we have known some of the probabilities and then uh, two events, then we want to look at what is probability of event A. So uh, A consists of three simple events. And uh, simple events means what? Uh, they don't have any overlap, or we say simple events are mutually exclusive. Uh, then probability of A is just probability of E1, plus probability of E2, plus probability of E4. So uh, since they're mutually exclusive, then um, uh, the probability of event A, event A is just simply the addition of the three probabilities of the simple events. And same for B. Since B equals E2, E4, E5, so probability of B is probability of E2 plus probability of E4, plus probability of E5. 
And uh, let's look at A or B. A or B means, uh, so uh, let's put A here, E1, E2, E4, and B. E2, E4, E5. So or means the union. So A in, either in A or in B. So uh, the elements in A, B, all good, all good. So then we, we just look uh, for, kind of search for uh, all possible uh, elements in A and B. So um, in, in uh, the event A and event B. So um, we have E1 there. So then uh, let's write this way. So we have A or B equals E1, E2, E4. That's from A and B. E2, E4 already here, so we don't have to write it again. Then uh, something we don't have, E5. That's A or B. Then probability of A or B, that's probability of all the simple events, and then add them together. So we have probability of E1, plus probability of E2, plus probability of E4, plus probability of E5. And for the event A and B, so uh, A and B means both, some, some simple events, both uh, show up in A and also show up in B. Uh, so uh, let's see what uh, simple events satisfy that. E1, what about E1? No because you went only in A, not in B. What about E2? Yes, because E2 uh, show up in A and B as well. So for E4, okay. E5, no, because E5 only in B, not in A. So A and B means uh, events E2 and E4. So probability of, A, probability of A and B equals probability of E2 plus probability of E and that is uh, we can calculate that quantity later okay and for the conditional probability uh, we just need to know what is the probability of A and B and what is the probability of B so just plug in all those because we have the equation. Then uh, let's look at uh, what we have here. So we have um, the sample space consists of that. So probability of sample space is one. That means probability of E1 plus probability of E2 plus probability of E3 plus probability of E4 and plus probability of E5 equals one. So one equals what? Probability of E1 is given, 0.15. E2, 0.15. E3, 0.4. E4, two times probability of E5. Just write down, two probability of E5. And then plus probability of E5. So what we have here is one equals 0.7 plus 3 times of probability of E5. So that tells us what? 0.3 is 3 times probability of E5. And probability of E5 equals 0.1. Probability of E5 equals 0.1. And uh, probability of E4 is 2 times probability of E5. So probability of E4 equals 0.2. Then we have all the uh, uh, needed information. So um, if we look at uh, this probability of A, that is um, E1, 0.15, E2, 0.15, and E4, 0.2. So that is 0 0.5. And 2, 4, 5. E2, 0.15. E4, 0.2. E5, 0.1. So that's 0 0.45. And uh, 
A or B. So 0 0.15, 0 0.15, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. So we have 0 0.6 and 2 and 4. So 0.15 and probably be 4, 0.2. So that gives us 0.35. And this one will be A and B. 0 0.35 divided by probability B, 0 0.45. So that is um, 7 over 9. So 0 0.7778. 7, 7, And then uh, 4.32 events, E and F are independent. So independent is an important uh, condition. We, we know E, probability of E, probability of F, and the following, E and F. So when e, two events are independent by the multiplication rule, then they can be write it as times probability of F, so which is 0 0.2 times 0 0.6, which is 0.12. And with it, when they're independent, so that means they don't have any influence. So whether you're conditional F doesn't really matter. So that is just probability of E itself, which is 0.2. E or F, so again, the additional rule. So uh, that gives us 0.2 plus 0.6 minus 0.12. So 0 0.8 minus 0 0.6, so 0.68. That's the answers for this question. And 4.4, how many ways you can select two letters from five letters? So choose five, two, right? That's the combination. So five times four. So uh, choose two. So you stop at two, a product of two terms and divided by 2 factorial. So that is 10. Or you can just use the formula. So uh, n factorial divided by n minus r. So 5 minus 2 factorial, 2 factorial. So it's actually uh, 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 2 factorial. And then uh, 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 factorial and divided by 3 factorial, 2 factorial. And this 2 cancels out. So that will give you 10. And 5 choose 3 is same as 5 choose 2, which is 10. And um, n choose r equals n choose n minus r. So you choose two letters out, means you want to choose three letters re remain in there. So they're the same. Okay, that's everything for worksheet four. Thanks.